basically back in the day we had Avid and we were trundling along quite merrily on Avid and then all of a sudden a guy called Walter Merck um, edited a movie called Cold Mountain in 2003 and he edited it on uh, Final Cut. There's actually a book about this. It's called Editing Final Cut on Cold, Mount Cold Mountain on Final Cut. And what that did, that changed the game. That means we didn't, because we could get cheaper hardware, we all jumped onto Final Cut. And then Final Cut, from all the way from three to seven, we were all using it. And some amazing films were edited on Final Cut. Country for Old Men was edited on Final Cut as David Fincher's Zodiac. And then Apple, being Apple, absolutely dropped the ball. They brought out Final Cut X. Now, Final Cut X today is a very different thing than when it first came out. It was, it, at the time, for us in the professional world, you, you export OMF files for Pro Tools. It was just a nightmare. So all there was in the market at the time, and this is why Adobe got the dominance with this, was Premiere. And I was literally at that turning point where we had to make a decision. Premier was the only option on the tape. But the whole point of this exercise now is a lot of it about there. A lot of people use Adobe to stuff and people send over Premiere projects. Now, how on Linux do you get into a Premiere project? That's quite tricky. You still need to have a Windows based machine. So doing this means if someone sends me a Premiere project, I can just launch this for a few minutes extract what I need, do the correct thing, export an XML file, and then I can bring all the media back into Resolve. Likewise with Photoshop, I can launch Photoshop if I really need to. I mean, loads of ways around doing that, but it's there. So you need another machine.